Yo guys, what is up? Welcome to another Pokemon Revolution Online video. Today we are playing Pokemon Revolution Online again, and we are actually going to get the gym badge again. Um, well, we never got it before, but last episode we're supposed to be getting the gym badge. In this episode, we're finally going to get the grass top gym badge using Charmander. Charmander is level 48 now. That's insane. Level 50 Pokemon, and we're just at the fourth gym badge. So, um, assuming that we're going to level 100 Pokemon when we get to Delete 4. I don't know how it's going to work, but uh, first things first, I forgot last episode to go over to this Team Rocket person over here and see what Team Rocket's doing in this corner. They're, they're pretty suspicious, so I'm going to just check it out and see what they're doing. All right, Team Rocket, what are you guys doing over here? Prepare for trouble and make it double. Okay, I guess we, they're just wanting to fight or whatever. All right, so we'll, they're just doing their little intro thing. Okay. If it isn't that other twerp's Pikachu, but just to be sure, we should take it anyway. Whatever. All right, so they're gonna try to de defeat me. Okay, I want to battle. Okay, whatever. Let's let's go ahead and battle them. Wait, I don't know why we can't battle these people. There's some kind of world boss that I have no idea. So we cannot defeat them yet for some reason. It won't let us battle. So if you guys know how to battle them or what that even does down there, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, let's take on the gym. Um, and this, I'm assuming this is gonna be really easy. And I'm assuming that our Charmander's gonna be like almost level 60 after we defeat this gym. So. I'm kind of excited to just see how much experience we get. And Gyarados could also be really good in this gym because it knows Ice Fang. So we'll just see how this gym goes. Because um, I don't know if Charmander's going to be able to one-shot everything. And we're just, I just want to see what levels they are. What is the levels of this team? Okay, so it's actually just like um, question mark. I forgot that all the gyms are question mark level for some reason. And I don't think you actually get experience for defeating any of the Pokemon in these gyms. Okay, so you actually do get experience, and this is going to get Charmander level 49, almost level 50 Charmander, dude. That's insane. All right, next up is another trainer with an Execute. Um, we're just seeing how much damage um, Charmander is going to do to each trainer. Um, so we have an idea of how effective we're going to be against uh, the, the gym leader, you know? All right, so we got Tangla up next. Let's use a Flame Burst and see if that'll even kill. If Flame Burst will kill, I'm going to save my Flamethrowers for the, for the gym leader. So yeah, dude, we're getting so much experience. Level 50 already. That is insane, dude. That is insane. All right, next trainer is Aroma Lady Jean. I guess they pronounce it. I mean, we got Allie, um, Jesse, and Shayna. And then I think we can take on the gym leader. Ooh, a Bayleaf, dude. That's pretty cool. All right, we'll just flame versus a Bayleaf here and teach it a lesson for being ugly. All right, there you go. And how much experience are we going to get for this one? Oh, it survived that? There's barely any HP. You can't even see that. All right. Um... How much experience? 17k experience, dude. Charmander is getting so much XP and leveling up so fast. I'm so proud of my Charmander, dude. Alright, do not evolve yet. We're not ready for that yet. Okay. Um, we got Jesse and Allie and Shayna left. Let's continue doing what we've been doing. Level 52 Charmander now. Pretty nice. Alright, this is the last trainer here. Let's go ahead and see what Pokemon she has. A Sunflora. So... I battled a Sunflora earlier, and I remember that Charmander was not able to one-shot with a Flamethrower attack. Let's see what it does this time. Alright, this one is different. <laughs> okay. Um, so, it actually fainted this time. We got 16k XP, dude. We're getting so much experience. Um, let's go ahead and heal up really quick. Just use a potion on our boy, Charmander. Um, and how much do you have in each attack? You have 10 Flamethrowers and 11 Flame Bursts, which should definitely be enough. All right, Erica. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome, my name is Erica. I'm the leader of the Celadon Gym. I teach arranging flowers. My Pokemon are the grass type. Whatever, dude, whatever. All right, she's got three Pokemon, and she's starting off Victory Bell, which is a pretty strong lead. A Flamethrower, will it be able to one-shot this Victory Bell? That is the question. And yes, the answer is 100% yes. 16K XP gets us to level 53, and that rhymed, and I didn't mean it to. All right, um, Ivysaur's up next. Easy flamethrower knockout. Um, and then she's got one more Pokemon. And let's see what it is going to be. It's going to be a Vileplume. All right, looks like we're going to get to level 54 from this gym, which is crazy. We've got six levels from, from this gym. All right, we didn't even one-shot that time. We did not one-shot. Don't kill us, please. All right, we were poisoned, but that's okay. Um, we'll go for the flamethrower here. Just to make sure we knock it out. Every ounce overkill. Alright, give us the XP. 24k XP, baby. 24 karat gold. Almost level 55 from that. That's pretty good. 
Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong, and I must confer you the rainbow badge. You received the rainbow badge. It looks like you're halfway through to get to the challenge of the Pokemon Elite Four. The next gym leader will be even stronger than me, but I believe you can do it. Head to Fuchsia City if you are up to the challenge. Oh, I almost forgot. I heard there is some crisis happening in Lavender Town. Can you go check it out? <laughs> all right, whatever. Uh, she does off again. All right, so she's no help at all. This person also has a Charmander, dude. I wonder what level theirs is. All right, so we have very, very strong Pokemon now. And um, there's one more thing I want to check out in Seldon City before we even head to Lavender Town yet. So I think it's just right up... Wait a minute. Ah, Bobby Hell 69 here you are again. I see you keep getting better and better. What if I test you right now? We're brushing a trainer. Oh, is this trainer red? They were fighting trainer red, dude. Wait, I should have probably used Dig there. I bet it doesn't matter. I bet we're supposed to lose this battle, right? Are we supposed to lose this battle? That's what I want to know. Okay. Um, Roselia... Go for the toxic, I guess. I don't I don't even know. Oh, he missed, actually. So, there we go. Pikachu was toxic very badly. That's actually good. What if we defeat him right here? That'd be crazy. Iron Tail. Okay, that actually didn't do too much at all, really. Um, all right. Let's see here. That toxic, though, that could wear off, dude. That could easily wear off. Um, let's go into... Let's go into the rat here. We might be able to beat him if we can get the poison to kill his Pikachu. We have revives. How much is the poison going to damage here? Alright. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, I'm actually going to revive some Pokemons for this one. Okay. Um, how many revives do I have? I have one revive. Let's see if we can win this. We have Quick Attack on Raticate, and Raticate can do the most damage. So, Raticate, you get to live here. Hit us with the Surf! Hit us with the Surf on a Pikachu! What? All right, all right. How much is the poison damage there? Okay, that's some pretty big damage right there for that poison. Um, all right, I think we're gonna go eradicate here. Hit him with the quick attack, and let's see what he does here. How much damage can we get with the quick attack here? Oh, that was no good. Mega Volt attack. Okay, did not much damage here. The poison. How much damage is gonna do? Oh, I died. It actually died. We actually beat him. You truly are going to be a good player. We shall meet again. I can feel that. All right, I actually defeated Trainer Red. What? Dude, the Toxic was OP. That was OP. All right, let's go heal up really quick. All our Pokemon are dead. That was great. As I was saying before, there's one more thing I want to check out. I'm pretty sure that you can get HM Fly now. Um, I'm hoping you can because that would be great um, if we can just fly around instead of walking around. Um, let's see if these cop guys will let us through here. What, is he, what do they say? Ah, you have a rainbow badge. You may now pass. Thank you very much. Let's see if this this is going to be like the bike trail area. Um, maybe it's not the bike trail area. I have no idea. This looks so different than what I expected. I think it might be the bike trail area. Let's see what they say here. What's he going to tell me? You don't have a bicycle. Oh, it's under construction or something? I have no idea. So I guess it's not the bike trail. Um, there's a TM move teacher for Aerial Ace. That's where Fly should be. Maybe we don't get fly from this area anymore. It might be different than the actual game, but that's okay. All right, I guess let's head back to Lavender Town and check what's going on there. I think there's going to be some problems going on in the top of the tower there, like in the actual Pokemon game. So I guess I'll meet you guys back at Lavender Town. All right, we are in Lavender Town, and I think it's time for us to go inside here. Yep, there's Youngster Joey. I hope he's Rattata's dead. I miss Rattata. Yes, I hope it's dead, dude. Your top percent Rattata blows. I have a top percent Raticate. And these skulls are... Wait, wait. Did that guy just come out of the skull? He's wearing a ghost outfit. What in the world? What? Dude, this has got to be some kind of event that you can do down there. That's how you get the points, probably, to get the stuff. All right. Um, the Pokemon spawn here? Okay, this is definitely a spawning area. Um, we're going to put on some repels, so that way we can just not encounter any Pokemon. And I also have Raticate in the front. Um... Actually, Raticate, dude, this could actually help you for this, because you have Crunch, so we're going to give you the black glasses so you do more damage. Um, and what else do we have here? We need a Repels. All right, Repels. We have 14 of them left. That's pretty good. I guess I'm going to battle everybody to get Raticate some experience, because Raticate's getting pretty low in the levels, actually. All right, we defeated every single trainer on the first story here, and now we've got up here. Um, these guys are definitely super easy, so we're just going to keep fighting these guys. There's some bones over there. I'm going to check those out. I feel like this going to be an item or something. All right, what are you? Nothing at all. You're nothing. This ghost tower is pretty spooky, though. Wait, who's this guy over here? He looks like a Urahara. 
Is that a player or is that just somebody else? I don't know. I'm going to talk to that guy and see what he's doing. All right, let's see who this dude is. Yeah, use more repels. Let's see who this dude is. Urahara. A winner should always think not of how the world is, but how it should be. What would you like to check? I want to battle. Unfortunately, my friend, you are not strong to battle me. Come back when you are ready. I feel like there's a lot of stuff you can't do until you defeat the Elite Four, so let's see if we can just defeat this game as fast as possible so we can actually do all the daily stuff. All right, floor number four. Um, we got Ghost Ariel, Elder Eric, and that's all the people that are up here. There's actually like no one up here on this floor. So we'll defeat these guys really quick, and then maybe the next floor is the last floor. I'm hoping it is anyways. Elder Eric, what knowledge do you have? My wife battled you. That can't be. I don't even know. Who is your wife, dude? You didn't even say what her, what her name was. Oh, Nurse Joy, yes. So we got to defeat this guy, Ghost. So are these guys people ghosts? I guess they're all ghosts. I have no idea, but they can still battle. Alrighty, Nurse Joy, please heal us up. Yes, please. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. We got one more ghost, and I think this is the top of the thing. We got ghosts here. Alright, this has been pretty easy. Radicate is level 48 now, dude, which is insane. Getting all the XP, getting all the rewards. Alrighty, now let's finish this up here. We got, oh my gosh, there's still, Professor Oak's over there. Alright, we got two more ghosts to defeat. I'll go ahead and defeat them really quick, and then I'll meet you guys over there next to Professor Oak. Alright, Radicate got to level 50, dude. Nice. So we defeated every single trainer up through the whole tower, so that's pretty cool. They got to exactly level 50, so we have level 50 Radicate and level 54 Charmander. Gyarados level 46, and Rosé's falling behind level 43. Um, so we'll definitely want to do whatever that... Okay, Bobby Hill 69. It must be odd seeing me out of the lab. I locked it up for today and came to see my beloved Dragonite. Oh, that's sad, dude. Your Dragonite died. But sucks to suck, Professor Oak. Maybe in the next life you'll have a cooler Dragonite that doesn't die. Bro. All right, now we're fighting the Ghost Marowak, who is here to be defeated by my Gyarados. All right, Ghost Marowak, you have haunted this place for too long. Okay, you didn't even, can't even damage us. We'll go for the Ice Fang here, and I should easily knock it out. Actually, it did, and I should have went for the Aqua. I don't know why I didn't go for Aqua Tail there. Probably still would have knocked it out, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, there we go. Can we get some XP, please? Not enough XP for Gyarados to level up. All right, there we go. We defeated the spirits. All right, now we got Team Rocket to take on. Um, let's get Gyarados some levels, get him level 50. It's going to be hard to train our Rosalia here because Team Rocket has such weird Pokemon that it's not going to help us to train Rosalia here. All right, so we'll just train Radic or Gyarados and just get to the defeat all these Team Rocket guys. There's three of them to defeat, so that's going to suck. All right, and that is the last trainer in, or the last Team Rocket member that we have to defeat. Do not learn Hurricane. It does not help you, Gyarados. It is not a helpful move. All right. All right, so there we go. Mr. Fuji, thank you for helping me. This item wakes sleeping Pokemon. All right, we got the Poke Flute. Why don't you come to my house and continue our talk there? All right, well, now I've literally got to walk all the way back to his house. All right, I'll see you guys at Mr. Fuji's house in the middle of the town. Finally, we have made it out of the town. And this, dude, this like dusky and red looking place. It looks pretty sick like this. Looks pretty sick like this. Mr. Fuji, welcome back to your home. All right, hey there. I want to thank you again for what you've done for Marowak. Now the soul component is in peace. I hope that my dog duo does the same in these moments. Do you know what the true meaning of the Pokemon Tower is? Officer Wonder was thinking it's not a cemetery. It's a place where we go and give our respects towards the fallen Pokemon. That building contains nothing but their souls. I never expected anyone to bury their Pokemon in there. Because of those spirits, people spread rumors that the place is haunted by ghosts. Whatever, whatever. Okay. That was like, that didn't have anything to help us with, dude. That was, that, wait a minute. I need to say something so you can come back over. I thought I'd just talk to you. I may look like an old person, but my past can't describe as one. Okay. You see, I used to do many terrible things in my youth. Things as you are far too young and inexperienced to know details. I'm sorry. Come back when you're stronger and wiser. Okay, whatever, dude. Whatever. No one cares. All right, so I think I'm going to end the episode right there for today. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this one. If you guys want to see more Pokemon Revolution Online, be sure to leave a like, comment down below if you want to, and subscribe if you haven't already. So anyways, God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.